The Cadence theme is one of the most popular free themes for WordPress today. It was packed with features that you can get a site up and running in no time. It also makes a great companion for WooCommerce. In today's video, we're gonna go over the shop page and single product page, what it has and what it doesn't have, as well as how to actually use it. So let's dive right in. First thing we're going to have to add is the Cadence theme. Go over here to the left to Appearances, Themes, Add New. And you're going to see it down here, but you can always search for it up top here. And just hit Install. And then Activate. As well as making sure we have the theme installed, we also need to make sure we have WooCommerce installed. I can see it here, but if you've never installed a plugin before, head over here to the left to plugins, add new, and the top just search woo, and it will be the top result over here to our left. Then you're gonna hit install, just like that button looks, then activate. As well as activating WooCommerce, you're gonna to wanna to put a whole bunch of products in. And I'll have a card in the corner here. So you have to do that. Now we can start editing the actual site itself. And how you do that with Cadence is you go over here to the left to Appearances, hover over it, and click Customizer. Now for Cadence, this is where you edit the footer, the header, and all the other kind of core pages of your site. And today we're just focusing over here to the left. WooCommerce, and we're gonna start out with the product category page. This handles your main shop page as well as categories and subcategories. So just keep that in mind when you're editing and let's get started. We're gonna start with the general tab and we're gonna work our way down real quick. We can get rid of the archive title. I'm just gonna get rid of that name, add it back. Um, right now we have this little colored separation. We can even get rid of that if we like. Make it look a little more clean. And how everything is aligned. You see how the title is. You can also change that per view. So with tablet, you want it to look with the title in the center. Phone as well. So they give you tons of responsive controls. We can also hide the title. Hide bread description if you have one. The one thing I would always have is your title and your breadcrumbs. We'll show where they're at. It also helps you with SEO. Now they got a couple different layouts. The archive layout will determine the width or if it has a sidebar. So you can make it contained or full width. I would definitely do the normal. Now if you want to add a sidebar, you do that as well, but I don't have one set up. It go right here, and you change whether or not you want a left or a right. I'm gonna keep it on normal. Then you can choose which sidebar to use. And here is these cards here. You make it have separate color, kind of box it off, or without. Now the next three are showing the archive count. And the sort drop down, which is here, you can have them sort by what they would like to see, which I think is useful. And the next one is to show grid toggle. That's this here. So they can go into grid view or keep it this way. I'm not a big fan, so keep it that way. This next hover on image. So if you have flip, fade, if you have a product that has multiple images, you'll be able to see the other image. Slide, flip. So it's really neat that they have some nice little effects for you if you choose to have them. Next one, there's the button. So they have this nice little slide effect. As cool as that is, and makes the shop page look shop page look clean. It's very important to have your button here. So it's easily accessible and they can just add to cart and there's no confusion. One of the negative things about Cadence is that how they have all these features on the shop page, as cool as some of them are, sometimes they get in the way of plugins that add some features. 
So I added my plugin that I built, Dynamic Shopping. And if we go over here to our store page, you can see how it's hidden down here. There's actually three buttons that should be showing up here. Just how they have their theme designed, it kind of conflicts. But even with that, we can make it look a whole lot better. And we have a way to fix that through my theme. And we'll add it. Oops, sorry. Before button. Hit save. Now head back over into the store. Now it's all fixed. So just keep that in mind if you're going to want to add any other features to your shop page. That could be a roadblock for you. Now another thing to keep in mind, you can head back to the customizer from your shop page if you're locked it, logged in by going up here to Customizer. And there you go, you're already on that page. And we can head back to the Category page and finish up the last few settings that they have. Um, there's the button align. Oh, sorry, I even skipped one. You can just have a normal button. Now this is what I think you should put, but that's up to you because their attention should be adding this to the cart, not hovering and finding a button. Shop page display, this will choose what to display. So if you put go categories, it's going to show categories up here. Go products and categories. So if you have a lot of categories, you can you know, click on that and it'll narrow it down for them. It'll show products. And so it does the same thing for your subcategories. Default sorting. So whatever this you want to sort this by, by default, you can choose that. Popular, average, most recent, sort by price, ascending and descending. The next control shows how many products per row. If we want to show just two. Change it to two. Basically it's columns, but they call it row back to four and then this is how many rows per page so if you only have a few more and you want to show them you can bump that up to five and that would show so they don't have to do any more pagination on the mobile they limit you to one or two columns which makes sense i think one column always looks nice on a phone but if you'd like you could do two and another problem i found when I was playing with my plugin. The moment you add one of these flip or zoom or whatever, it messes up with the markup of the actual, the actual uh, HTML and you can't do that. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna wanna add stuff later that it might cause you problems down the road. Now, if we scroll up to the top again on the controls and go into design, a lot of these controls are self-explanatory. There's different font types for the title. We change the title, title color, description color. So if we want to change those colors, we can. Um, as well as product title, price. So if we want to make it blue, we can. You just play with these and make it look however you want. And you can also change button color. Actually like a lighter blue. There, that's the next background. Lighter. Anyways, you can play with that all you want. There's borders if you want to add a border and change the color, border radius. I kind of like the border radius. Yeah, well, you can play with all these different fonts. So they give you tons of control over how this is going to look, which is pretty awesome. And now we're going to go to the actual shop page. We're going to go back. It's the single product layout. So this will change how, if you're going to a single product, how all this looks. So the similar functions as the store, you definitely want to click 
breadcrumbs. Don't, I wouldn't do the extra space. Breadcrumbs all the way, because this is good for SEO. Just remember, anything that helps your SEO, you want to keep. And you can do the same thing and contain it. And go with sidebars again if you have it. And then you can choose your sidebar. Oh, change your content style. I think that looks good like that. Then you can change how all of it is spaced. Now you get into the really fun controls. You can hide or show the category as well as the title. Rating if you have some. The price. And you can show also shipping statement. So and free shipping or whatever label you want to put in here, you can change. Or remove the price entirely. Don't know why you want to do that, but you can. I'll not show that. Excerpt, that's the small product description down here. You can hide that. Show it. Um, they even give you different sizes of buttons for your add to cart. So medium, large. Let's keep on normal. Extras. Now that will add a section down over here. So it adds a, you can control that if you push down here. A label, so a title on there. All these different things you can change, add, which is Pretty awesome for a free theme. And now I'm going to hide that because we're going to go talk about the next section, which is payment. I think this adds some character to your site and also let them know what you accept and you can add change or do whatever you like there. You can hide the meta down here. And my plugin adds plus or minus. So what's awesome is they do give you the ability to Enable or disable. And then they change the product uh, variation display. So right now, if this had extra pictures, it'd be right here. If I go to vertical, it'd be down here. The tab section down here is your review tab. You do center, normal, and default heading. Uh, you can take away the headings on the the tabs. Also additional information and show related. So always show this because it gives them another chance to see more products. You can also change how many different columns you want. So just like the shop page, you have a design page. And you can go through here and change all this stuff here. And this is where... I believe Cadence goes above and beyond, Something like Astra. So everything has trade-offs. Some are easy to work with with other plugins, some are not. So just be careful and pick the right theme for you. As you can see, Cadence gives you so many options for a free theme that you can never go wrong. Just be careful which plugins you add to it as they might cause some conflicts and make sure that you check compatibility you know, you could load it up on TasteWP, load both the plugin and the theme together and play around with it before putting it on your live site. Now, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!